Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. In this video, I'm going to reveal a really big secret and that's the technique of how to build a Lego city without bricks. When I first announced that I was working on this video a couple of weeks ago, I got a few messages from some serious a falls and mock designers. They're really unhappy that I was going to reveal the secret, but honestly, I'm not sure what their technique is. This is a technique that I developed myself, so I don't think I'm stepping on anyone's toes. The reason I'm doing this video is because I legitimately get a lot of messages on Instagram, through email, and on comments of my videos on how to build a Lego city without bricks. Many people mention they don't have enough bricks, but they want a Lego city, so they want to know how to go about doing it. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create such a city. The first things you need are base plates. And I've got three base plates here, and I'm using three for purposes of this video, but it really depends how much space you have. If you have more space, you can have more base plates. If you have a smaller space, then you won't have room for many base plates. So I'll be using three here, two light gray ones and one green one. And just like any LEGO city, regardless of the size and regardless of how many bricks you use, you must start off with the basic layout or design of your city. So you can, of course, do a linear layout where you have all three base plates in one row. That's pretty common. But I think I'll change things up and make it more interesting and I'll do a right angle layout. So what I'm going to do is take the base plates and I'll create a right angle just like this. So in my mind, those two can be plots for buildings and this can be some kind of a park. After you lay out the base plates, you need to think about the buildings and how they occupy the base plates. I've given this some thought and I'm going to start off with a three-story building over here. This will be a corner modular building. On this base plate, there'll be two half modular buildings. That means there are 16 by 32 studs each. There'll be a sidewalk, which will be six studs wide, and this will flow into this park area. So I will do an extension for the sidewalk as it moves around here and probably at the right angle. And that's just to accentuate that whole 90 degree design of this particular city layout. I'll then detail this park area so that it looks like a city park. And I think everything will work well for this particular city layout. So let me get to work and we'll see what the result is. And here we have the completed Lego city without bricks. I have to zoom out the camera a bit just to make sure I captured everything. On the left, you can see that three-story corner modular building and the two half modular buildings here. And notice how the sidewalk seamlessly connects to the park. I'm really proud of this particular design because I managed to pack a lot of detail into just three base plates. Even though it's not a lot of space, you do get the sense that this is really a busy, active Lego city block. The great thing about this particular technique is if you do not have enough money for base plates or you don't have enough base plates, you could technically remove the base plates as well. This doesn't adversely affect the design of the city and you'll notice that it looks more or less the same. And you can still switch things around, it's modular in that aspect, so you could shift the path over to that side and move that building over this side and everything looks just as good. The one tip I have for you if you employ this particular design is to make sure no one accidentally places anything onto your city. You don't want them damaging any of your city buildings or loosening any bricks. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to build a Lego city without bricks. Let me know which is your favorite building in the city layout. And also let me know if you'll be able to apply this particular technique for your own custom Lego city. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching and check out these two videos before you go.